So, you want a cinema drone that provides great details and higher resolution, vivid colors, a pretty good transmission range to shoot your next film, or just your bumpy adventures, the Mavic 3 from DJI is right there for you. DJI Mavic series has always been the go-to drone when you want professional grade aerial footage, great battery life, advanced sensors, all in a compact form factor. And with each new iteration, DJI actually has exceeded our expectations. With the last Mavic 3 series, however, DJI introduced a new zoom lens, which was no less than a bummer. Though it seemed functional at first glance, the image that you get through the telelens is close to unusable. So still, there are some boxes to tick for DJI. And with these little improvements, DJI can create the most advanced drone for aerial cinema making. So today we will talk about the upcoming DJI Mavic 4 Pro and its expected features. The first and foremost upgrade for the DJI Mavic 3 Pro is likely to be on the camera segment, which of course is the crucial part of aerial imaging. I mean, you can get all the other features you would expect in a drone, but without proper details and higher resolution, that's of no use to your cinematic film. The current Mavic 3 can shoot 5.1K videos at 50 frames per second, and 4K videos at up to 120 frames per second. There are other drones available in the market that can shoot 6K videos, and 8K is becoming common in smartphones. So, a drone that is expected to capture much more surely needs to be upgraded to 8K, and that's what DJI might aim for with their Mavic 4 Pro. The sensor, however, might not see any upgrades since the current 4x3 inch CMO sensor is quite great and is capable of capturing impressive low light landscapes. But for still images with the main lens, 20 megapixels is never enough. Even the newly launched Air 3 offers better still images with superior details than the Mavic 3. So, very much chances are, we will be seeing the same 48 megapixel lens for the Mavic 4 Pro, which is currently being used on Air 3. But let's not forget the telelens, which was supposed to bring evolution. DJI needs to upgrade the telelens by quite some margin, and perhaps shift to a 108 megapixel camera and offer up to 10 times optical zoom for more clarity, since digital zoom really doesn't bring much to the table. Interestingly, the DJI Air 3 costs half of the Mavic 3 Pro, but it boasts surprisingly better features and value for money. You even get more flight time with Air 3 around 46 minutes, whereas the Mavic 3 can fly for three minutes less. So considering the price, the Mavic 4 Pro surely needs a huge bump in battery life and needs to exceed 50 minutes of flight time to live up to its name, the Pro. And with such flight time, the user will get more flexibility and focus on creative shots. Talking about transmission range, Mavic 3 again falls behind Air 3 with 15 kilometers of range. But the DJI Mavic 4 Pro is expected to come up with OcuSync 4 Plus for transmitting 1080p videos within a 25 kilometer radius. So, if you are thinking about getting a DJI drone for filmmaking and with great value, the DJI Air 3 is a much better choice, no doubt. Besides, the Mavic 4 Pro is less likely to get launched in 2024 since the R&D time DJI maintains for its Mavic series is around two years. But that's all from us. What more upgrades do you think will make the DJI Mavic 4 Pro a worthy upgrade? Throw all your thoughts in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with all the latest tech news.